Hey everyone, recently on the Next Bite Ice Fishing Forums, we got a question relating to uh, ice augers and uh, wanting opinions on what's out there on the market and what do people use for ice augers nowadays. With that, I chimed in, talked about Strike Master augers and the benefits they have for me as an ice angler. But with that, I kind of wanted to go a little bit more in depth. I want to make this little video about uh, what I talked about in that in that. Uh, in that thread and uh, why Strike Master is so important to me for when I'm out on the ice. And the number one reason, uh, hands down, has to be the lightweightness of these augers. Um, when I'm out on the ice, I want to cut a lot of holes. And why do I want to cut a lot of holes? Is because I want to contact the most fish I can on any given day. And the only way to do that, you know, coupled with being in the right area, is to cut holes to find them fish. And uh, you know, if you've got a big, you know, 40, 50 pound auger, you're not going to cut a lot of holes. But when I'm talking Strike Master weight, anywhere from 20 to 26 pounds, I'm more than willing to go out and cut a lot of them holes and uh, find them fish. My theory is, you know, hey, if, I, uh, if I'm fishing in my boat, I'm hitting every spot possible with my cast. And to cast on the ice, I've got to drill them holes. So. You uh, take the Strike Master Solo that I got right here. It's a three horsepower motor uh, coupled with this bit. It actually, this is an old bit. It's a synthetic bit that Strike Master used to use on a four stroke auger. This bit, this total assembly weighs in at 21 pounds. A three horsepower motor at 21 pounds. Um, kind of unheard of. Um, and with Strike Master, you get that because in their Solo line of motors, from a two horse to a three horse, um, there's no weight gain by that. So I use a three horse because why? It's gonna turn a lot more higher RPMs and we're gonna get into that here shortly, but um, being lightweight, I'm gonna go out and cut 50, 100 holes each and every day and uh, not be bogged down because I've got, you know, 30, 30 extra pounds, uh, you know, carrying around like that. And uh, secondly, what I talked about is cutting ability. Um, you know, couple this, three horsepower motor that turns a lot of RPMs with a bit that's going to cut through the ice very, very quickly. That's going to say, hey Jim, you know, hey it only took you, you know, four seconds to get through that hole instead of eight seconds and, you know, now I'm cutting double the amount of holes over that other auger. So this three horsepower motor is turning RPMs like you can't believe and you couple that with the laser style bit that Strike Master has and you're going to be blowing through the ice. And what I mean by that is Strike Master has this double blade design, two blades on the bottom with that power point tip to get you centered in the ice, and you're shaving the ice, you're not chipping the ice. Most augers that you see have chipper blades and it's a little bit slower. Um, Strike Master sells chipper blades too because you may want to use them if you're in really, really dirty ice, a lot of sand on the ice, stuff like that. They won't get as dull quickly as, uh, as these lasers will do but for you know 99% of ice conditions these laser blades are gonna v cut through the ice uh, a lot quicker than a chipper blade now couple that with that big three horsepower motor you're blazing through the ice so my reasoning right there for why I use Strike Master augers is that lightweightness with that cutability on that head and uh, there's no no auger out there that right now that I'll use and uh, you know, teaming that too with good dependability, an auger that doesn't break down a lot, and customer service from Strike Master that if you do have a problem, they're going to get you back up and running quickly. Um, and with that, I just kind of want to end on uh, a short tip, a short couple tips with uh, these augers on keeping them running good and keeping the ice from your actual blades and uh, and uh, flighting. One, Amsoil Quick Shot. Put that in the fuel that you use for your auger. It, it is a cleaner, it is an ethanol treatment, and it is a, um, it, it's a fuel stabilizer. My augers, since I've started using that, run a lot more efficiently, start a lot better in the cold weather, and uh, you know, I can put them away at, right after the season. I don't have to add stable because I already have it in there right there. Keeping ice off your flighting and your blades adds weight. So we don't want that, and we want to cut a lot of holes. So what do we do? We use a lubricant. I got WD-40 here, but my my uh, lubricant of choice is actually Pam cooking spray. You know, it's non-toxic. So what I do is spray that all down. Spray the spray the the uh, 
the blades down, wipe it off, and uh, when you're cutting in uh, very, very cold weather or whatever, um, it's going to shed the water, and if you do get any ice, it's going to allow you to get it off a lot more efficiently if you didn't use that lubricant. Every week I do that, and it keeps me ice-free almost all the time. So two little tips there for better auger operation while on the ice. Just want to kind of end with a new product from Strike Master, kind of taking what I just talked about and the gas power augers to the level of hand augers. A lot of people don't uh, live in, in the ice belt where they got more than 12 inches of ice. And if you do that, you don't need a gas auger. All you need is a hand auger. And new this year, Strike Master's got a new synthetic um, uh, hand auger, laser. It's got the laser bits on the bottom and you see that red tip to it. It's a polymer tip and then it has a bit that moves so it sheds the ice a lot better and it cuts down on the weight because there's no metal on the flighting. There's metal on the inside but not on the flighting. But what that polymer tip does is it allows for a smooth cut all the way through the ice. So you're taking what I just talked about on the power augers so when you're drilling down through, there's no binding, you go right through the ice and you're on to the next hole. So the new Strike Master synthetic hand auger. Use it as a hand auger, put a power drill on it, whatever you want, but you're going to cut through the ice a lot quicker with this hand drill than any other on the market. So um, those are my ice auger tips here for the next bite and uh, bite on guys and we'll see you on the ice.